in Deagle Park. A horror game where our player tries to find out what actually happened to the park, and why did it close all of a sudden. Today guys we're going to talk about the story, its characters, and what story have we know so far by playing the game. Number 1. The Story A guy named Isaac, who gives a speech and tells that he made a place that is for fun for children, they will have a good time and amazing adventure known as the Indigo Park. Our player was watching the video. Then it shows a picture of a boy, which I think is the player, and then a poster of a character named Molly Macau and a sticky note with written mom's favorite, telling that, that the, the player used to go to the park and his mother's favorite character was Molly Macau, the parent. If we look at the monitor, it shows our player was training with somebody called Laura. Now, if we look at the chat closely, this tells us three things together. Number one, our player name is Ed, which at the end she says his name, the player's name. Number two, it turns out that this person and the player used to go to the park together when they were kids. And number three, our player wanted to go to explore because there's a newspaper which shows that the park just got closed all of a sudden. And that's where we're gonna go and find out why did this happen. Now our player is going to the park. Once he reaches the park, he tries to go for the main gate, but it's closed. Then he finds another door, and once he finds another door and goes in, he meets Ramley. Hi there, and welcome to Indigo Park! The world's most innovative and engaging family fun experience! Jump into the world of your favorite character! Wait, you're our first guest in 2,920 days, 4 hours, 23 minutes, and 38 seconds! Congratulations! I'm Ramley, Ramley the Raccoon, and it's my job to make sure your experience here at Indigo Park is the most fun it can be! Just hop on over to the registration center to your left! where our friendly assistant will help you begin your adventure in the park. 2,920 days. That means it's been eight years since the park has been closed. And our player has returned to the park to see what happened after eight years, meaning 2,920 days. When we go and interact objects, and if you interact with the chair, this happens. Hi, I'm Rambly, Rambly the Raccoon. And it's my job to make sure your experience here at Indigo Park is, 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 is registered. Let me just get a good look at you. Hmm, I don't seem to have your face in our guest list. Is this your first time here at the park? Or did you just get plastic surgery? No worries, it's Rambly Tuesday. So you qualify for a big discount on your visit. Just follow me to the main gate. Ooh, I can't wait for you to see everything Indigo Park has to offer. After this, our player tries to go to the main gate, but it's closed, it's not working. Then Rambly talks to us. What's the hold up? The gate is open! Head on into the entryway! Hmm, hold on. My mistake, the gate is not open. There seems to be an error message being sent from the gate's power unit. Lucky you! You get to be the first person to try our Turn on the Generator Mini Rambly Venture! Have fun! After Rambly tells us to find a missing gear, and once we come in... Ah! The Indigo Violet Compact Power Generator! But it seems to be inoperable. Looks like it's missing a piece. Can you find it? We find the missing gear, and after we put the gear and pull the lever, the gate is finally open. Okay, for real this time! Welcome to Indigo Park! And once we come inside, we get to see the Indigo Park. After seeing how the park is, we try to enter the park, then Rambly talks to us again. Every guest needs a critter cuff. That will allow you access to reserve areas, charge payments to your room, and wear a critter cuff. I think there's some in the gift shop. Head in there and I'll get you set up. After going to the critter corner, there's an actual gift shop. And once we go there, Rambly gives us what he calls the critter cuff. A new way to interact with the park that also doubles as a pedometer, heart monitor, and moon ring. Data disclosure agreement included. When we try to leave, the door closes. Uh-oh! The door mysteriously locked! Why not test out your band and save the day? Which of course Rambly did. He makes us test the new critter cuff. Hooray! Great work, buddy! 
Now try entering the park, and we can start our indigo adventure! Now, after our player comes and checks the park, he goes into the tunnel, but once he goes inside, the player gets stuck. He meets Rambly again. Pardon our dust, buddy! Looks like the park is going through some... renovations. For the inconvenience, your Rambly Tuesday discount will be... free. Percent off! Why not celebrate this great deal with a ride on my railroad? To test your sleuthing skills, I'll let you find this one all by yourself. After our player comes in and he tries to explore, he sees something. What it looked like to be Molly Macau, but why is she hiding? Then Rambly talks to us again before we enter the train. Your facial data suggests you may be a bit older than the target audience for this ride, but it's one of my favorites! Do you know why Rambly the Raccoon loves Rambly's Railroad? Because I like trains! I like trains. Number 2. The Characters When our player goes into the train, Rambly introduces some of the characters. First, he introduces Molly... It's Molly McCaw! It's Molly McCaw! The greatest pilot you ever saw! You sure are, Mo. Why, you only crashed into six bars this week! I'm not crashing! <laughs> What's blindstorming? It's crashing with style. After this, then he introduces another character named Oh Finley! Come on out and greet the people! My Rambly. Why the long face and body? You've known me for 100 years, Rambly. I'm always long because I'm always longing for a new seashell for my collection. Oh, Finley, you should come out of your shell. How about you come into it instead? My ride, Oceanic Odyssey, will teach you all about the wonders down under the deep blue sea. It's as blue as me. Uh, I hope you'll visit. I'm so lonely. Oceanic Odyssey currently closed for the fans. After he introduces Findley, we go to a place where it's broken and something happens to Rambly all of a <laughs> Our player sees a door and tries to go inside just to see that what can we do to fix Rambly and get the train working. But once we come inside, we see Molly Macau. <laughs> <laughs> the worst she was saying that he hears Lloyd, he hears Lloyd. And she was keep repeating those words again. Once we come inside, we fix the gears, come back and get the train working. Now Rambly introduces one more character named Lloyd. <sighs> Hater Lloyd. Do not shame me with that common folk name! I am the proud, the prestigious, the professional Lloydford L. Lyon! For extraordinaire! Now while Lloyd was uh, saying something, if we look back, we see Molly McCall watching us. Great act, Lloyd. Of course it was! I'm the real star! After we come over the train, and we come out, and we see the park, and we explore around, we come across Jet Scene Function, which I think belongs to Molly McCall. Then Rambly tells us that the keys he saw last time was in the Lloyd's Theater. Last I checked, there's a security office in the back of the theater. Maybe a friendly wrangler can help you get in! Then, we player goes to the Lloyd's Theater. When we enter... We can see the Lloyd sleeping, but something isn't right about him. He looks at us and runs away. When we go, we can see Rambly talking to us again. Hey buddy, I've got eyes all over the park, but I can't see anything behind the stage. If you're going back there, be careful. Your Kritikov is not yet able to resuscitate you. After Rambly talks to us, we can see him watching us, but goes away, says nothing to us. After we go and get the keys, we come back and uh, something happens.
what happened to him when he saw our Critter Cup. In a future chapter, we'll find out about more about Rambly and his characters and what actually happened. Now, we unlock the jesting function, we go in and we see Rambly talking to us. Why don't you check out Molly's Rooftop Races? It's not far from here, and it's a great warm-up before we get into the bigger rides. Just take it up at Molly's Landing Pad. He tells us that we have to go to Molly's one of the rides to wait for warm-up to go into this landing pad. When, when we go there, it's broken. Oh, this is horrible! Uh, looks like Molly crashed into the right again! Don't worry though, your pal Rambly has the repairman on speed dial! We're sorry, the number you have dialed has been disconnected or is no longer in service. Please check the number and dial again. Uh, Say, why don't you check out Molly's landing pad? It's not far from here, and it's a great cooldown after that exhilarating ride. Just take a down from Molly's rooftop races. After this, we go down and we go to Molly's landing pad. Number three, the ending in the chase scene. When we enter Molly's landing pad, there's a puzzle. Now, here's some scary moment. When, for example, you see a purple color is a star. When I was changing it, this. Now, we have to find a puzzle in order to unlock a door. Now, we go in there, we find the puzzle, and we also see Molly also watching us. After we solve the puzzle, we unlock the door. Now, as we are just walking and going around, suddenly Molly McCall opens the door and screams at us, which leads us to a chase scene. I'm going to speed up a little bit so you can guys also watch the chase scene. Now, we're in the staff room. Molly's about to come on us until all of a sudden the door closes and we can see it's, she's not a robot. It's blood. Whoa. Randley talks to, to us Randley one more last time. Here we have plenty of amenities and... Uh, okay, okay. I can see in your facial tracking that you're scary, scary, upset. Transparency is an important part of our policy here at Indigo Park, so... I need to be honest about something. The park has been inactive for years. Employees stop showing up, guests too. The mascots are... I just was so excited to see a visitor and I wanted to be sure you were given the best experience possible. But I was confined to the entrance for so long, I didn't realize just how much disrepair the park has fallen into. I'm wasting all of your fun time. Eh, sorry for the inconvenience. But, but... I have an idea. I have access to the repair documentation in my database. I just can't execute most tasks without authorization from a human user. You must have come here because the park matters to you too, right? Would you be willing to help me restore the park? I can see in your facial tracking data that you aren't opposed to this. Ooh, I'm so excited. Let's get this place back in business. And then gives us a mission to fix the park which we agree. But the story ends. Now guys, we will wait that when chapter 2 will come and then I'll tr then when it comes, like and subscribe so I can also give explanation about chapter 2. If you guys liked the video, then like, give a comment on how it was and uh, I appreciate you guys if you watched the entire video. Alright guys, see you. Bye bye.